Hi everybody, my name is Enrique Carlos and I am the Campus Communities Coordinator at the Ringwood Campus. Today we are going to jump into Acts 2 verses 44 through 47. So I'll start in verse 44. Now all who believed were together and had all things in common and sold their possessions and goods and divided them among all as anyone had need. So continuing daily with one accord in the temple and breaking bread from house to house, they ate their food with gladness and simplicity of heart, praising God and having favor with all the people. And the Lord added to the church daily those who were being saved. Now, there are a couple of things that immediately pop out of the text, but one of the things that we'll talk about today is that notion of oneness, doing things together, that we're better together when we are in one accord finding a need in the community and just being one unit. So when my kids were younger, um, we had these objects laying around the house that were either a great representation of something really, really cool or a weapon of mass destruction. And I'm sure you know what I'm talking about um, with these guys. So these are Legos and these Legos would either wind up on the bottom of your feet when you're going to the bathroom at two o'clock in the morning, or they would wind up in your vacuum cleaners or somewhere else that they're not supposed to be in just because of their shape and their size and how you know these things are formed. But what's cool about Legos is if you actually stack them together, they form something that one individual Lego couldn't do by itself. So I think this one was a car, it's got a spinny thing on it. Uh, I mean, it used to have wheels, but it's probably cool because it's got wings, so it flies. And then as I was cleaning up, I found this uh, gift box looking thing. Never mind. Um, it's actually, it looks like a house or some kind of hospital because it's got a window in it, or at least it had a window because it fell out. But if you, again, if you look at it, this guy by itself, if you just happen to focus on this, it's cool, right? It's got the ridges on it, it's shaped in an interesting way, but once you stack it on something else, on top of other things, it actually forms something bigger than itself. So similarly, the early church and the believers, when they gathered together, they found themselves gathering, but they gathered with a purpose, on purpose, to do something much bigger than themselves. So what excites me about this passage is the opportunity that you and I have during this community season to build one another up, to shape some things maybe that we have never seen before for the gospel. And here's what's cool about it. When we start to gather, when we start to put mission behind our gatherings, when we start to act in one accord, something really interesting happens. So in verse 47, they had favor with all the people. Now imagine what our communities would look like. Imagine what the Northeast would look like when we start to come together as building blocks to build each other up and start being so unique that people start asking, what, what are you guys doing over there? You building a house? Are you building, you know, you building a car? Or are you building something that I've never seen before? Because individually, we may be really cool by ourselves, but in reality, how much cooler is it if we come together and build something else? So I hope this passage would encourage you to do a couple of things as it got me thinking. If you're not already plugged into a community, plug into one, reach out and we'll help you. If you're looking to get plugged in, you were plugged in before, reconnect. So I hope this encourages you as much as it encourages me and I hope to see you in communities this season. Have a great day.